guys, it's Charlotte and welcome back to my channel. Anyways, today we are going to be talking about how to get good grades in school, how to perform better, and how to study better. So, hope you guys enjoy. Um, here are all of my best tips and tricks. So, tip number one, make your environment however you think that you will study the best slash perform the best. And usually, it varies from person to person, but for me, this is what I usually do. Make sure that your room is at least pretty clean, like make your bed and maybe like tidy some things up on your desk. Second thing, make sure you're sitting at a desk because sometimes when I sit on my bed to do my homework or study or sit on the couch, I usually just get super comfortable and I get sidetracked and I don't like perform as well. And I think that it is important to sit at a desk because it kind of simulates like sitting at school. And so you'll be better, do your school better, I guess. Anyway, um, also my last tip, tip is to hide alerts on your text messages like and turn your ringer off because I get so distracted. And I know this varies from person to person, but like I get so distracted if I do not have it off. So just make sure another hot tip is to exercise. Now this also varies from person to person like not all people need exercise to perform better in school but for me I need to have like exercise and there's even studies um that say that the people people that exercise more do better in school so like make sure that you're exercising and especially it's also good for you so yeah why not so now I'm going to talk about how to get good grades so my first tip is pay attention in class this doesn't seem like it would be a big deal but say you're on your computer and you get a text from your friend. You're responding and instead of instead of responding to that text message, you sh could be listening to your teacher. And when you're responding to your friend, you're missing out on what is happening in class. Try reviewing your information that you just learned in your class. So say you just took a class and you have a passing period, try looking over your notes for five minutes or just going over the information that you learned in class. And this will really help you retain information. Okay, now my next tip for making good grades, and this is more of a homework tip, so just, yeah. Anyway, it's to space out your homework. So don't do it all in one day, because then you will, like, get confused by, like, the, the next day you have class. And so we have block scheduling, so we only have, like, two classes a week of the class, right? And then if you do your homework. It's kind of a little confusing what I just said, but what I'm trying to say is say you have a bunch of homework, do, like, 15 minutes each day just don't like just space it out so that you don't do it all on the same day and yeah now this might be like one of my best favorite tips that i have and this is to like make time for tiktok social media insta youtube because if you don't you then you'll like want to go on it and so if you already have that time like scheduled in then when it is that time you'll be more excited for it and you will study more, get good grades, because you'll be focusing on your homework and you know that you have time for YouTube. Also, won't feel guilt guilty um, watching YouTube um, if you're supposed to be studying because then you'll be like, oh, it's a reward because I just did all this good studying. Okay, so another one of my biggest tips is to use the Promodora method. And before I get into talking about it, I really wanted to shout out Amy Long for teaching, uh, teaching me about it. Um, she also explains it because she has an awesome study tips video. So yeah, make sure to check out that video. Anyway, so the Promodoro method. It's basically, it will help you study better because you do 25 minutes of studying and then you take a five minute break. And so this really helps out because you're not like, you have a break built in and you can just go for longer periods of time. This also helps because in the five minutes you can do your TikTok, social media, any of that. But personally, I recommend just being present and like looking out the window, drawing, just doing something like that. For this method, you'll also wanna have a timer to time out the 25 minutes and then the five minutes. So say you have a really important test on Friday and say this is like the most important test of the year, but you also have an important test on Thursday and Wednesday. So instead of studying, not studying till like the day before, like st studying for that Friday test on Thursday night, um, you need to study multiple days in advance. And even if it's just for 10 minutes, um, make sure you get in those hours because then you will, like you will 
have more days of practice. So usually my rule of thumb is to study three days in advance. So say I was studying for the test on Wednesday, I would start studying on Sunday, then study on Monday and Tuesday for like 15 minutes and it would add up to be 45 minutes. And it's, it's, it say it's the even important, the even more important test on Friday, study on, start studying on Tuesday and then study on Wednesday and Thursday for like 20 minutes and that will add up to an hour in total. And then you can also do this with bigger chunks of time and like longer days. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed it and that this video was very helpful and informational. And I also hope that you guys stay tuned and hit that subscribe button for some more awesome content. Um, end of school is coming up, so I will have amazing summer content. And um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye!